XQC's time on the GTA roleplay server was... I hate the f***ing police! <laughs> send, send it! I'm sending it! Yeah. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> A little bit different from everyone else. His two-year lifespan on NoPixel has resulted in absolute madness and never-ending drama. With almost every single storyline he gets involved in ending with a ban. This is the chaotic legacy of Gene Paul. Gene Paul's first NoPixel ban comes from intentionally hitting and running many of NoPixel's roleplayers. As well as just being an overall menace, causing mass traffic pileups and mega traffic jams, all before posing for a selfie. I'll show you, I'll show you. Which is a clear violation of NoPixel's rules. Many of these rules are set in place to keep the realism alive and protect the lives of the server's role players, limiting typical GTA behavior like ramming other cars or acting out of character, as it takes the realism out of the experience. Guys, the next time I do this, boys, we're getting trucks, Hummers, fucking 10 wheelers. Dude, we're getting boats. That Dude, I'm gonna put a fucking traffic jam so big, half the race is gonna be fucking traffic, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Smile. Okay, yeah, they, they banned me, apparently. Okay. I know you can run over with cars, and that's n I never did that. I never ran over on person with cars. Oh, no, that never happened. All seemed fine after X's first ban was resolved. Then, upon getting arrested for a stolen car, things went south very quickly. Slaughter their job! Like I just said, if this was enforced to maximum capacity, they could be arresting people every 10 seconds for stolen- because everybody has stolen cars. And with his previous ban being not too long ago, he felt like the police were out to get him. I think they just play by ear and they just add the charges of a stolen car if they catch it for something else, but... Stopping me at my own shop for stolen cars, like, dude, fuck off. Resulting in him exploiting a glitch to sneak a gun into the police station. Anything if they right abuse there. glitches, I abuse glitches. I think it goes Black both ways. Rider. All right, I got your choices ready, actually. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You're looking at one count or two riding? One count of riding. Right what the hell? Y'all okay? with the aftermath getting pretty heated between X and Officer Andrews. That is You're not what I said. Okay? We're not there in the discussion. Hold on, we let you fucking cry for the last fucking two hours. Shut the fuck up for a bit. Jesus fucking Christ. People were quick to accuse him of staging this attack on purpose to stir up drama, which is something he hasn't been shy of doing in the past. Not gonna like use the information that he gets from us in this chat to go and like fucking do an offline stream sniper or whatever. At first, I didn't, but then I did. Does that make sense? It's green. Wait, he is doing it! Wait, he did it! It got him up! I don't care that XQC cheated or sniped. And while in the midst of the conflict with the police and screen cheating allegations, his reaction was to, quote, go full on Britney Spears. I've been kind of molding lately, so I went full Britney Spears and I cut my own hair. No, I look like a Karen. Once again, resulting in the second banning of X. Oh, she's so crushed. But this was still only the beginning of the drama to come. Oh, shit. With the time frame of the first two bans being so short, we can clearly see a pattern was emerging. Just a few days short of being banned free for a month, X found himself in a complicated situation with the police, accusing the cops of metagaming and targeting him specifically. I mean, as it probably should be, it's like, he's being punished a little bit, not punished, but, you know, he's being treated the way he's treated by the cops, probably because of his past experiences with these cops, you know what I'm saying? All leading up to a high stakes car chase with X in a getaway car, and the cops doing everything they can to try and catch him. And after the police officer was absolutely obliviated, 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 shot multiple times by Gene Paul, Gene made his clean getaway thinking all was well. I've had enough of this shit. I've had that. This fucking much of cops. Fuck them all, dude. That was until the cop that had clearly been taken out tells other police officers that it was X that took the shot. Uh, oh, wow. yeah, but it was X. I know that. Wait, how does he know that? 
Be <laughs> just turns me. around and... Wait, this guy is metagaming while dead. What the fuck? What is wrong with him? Which, of course, promptly led to his arrest. And as X had changed his character's appearance, the only way they could have known that information was if their chat was telling them who it was. And with all the frustration of being metagamed, XQC encouraged his chat to yeah, chat no hop one. as well. You gonna be okay? So we'll hop. Yeah, um, thank God. Okay, I... But many viewers also had their own thoughts about the situation. It was the guy going around killing cops? No way. How could he have known? All building up to the final point where X receives his third official no pixel ban while watching VODs from the police's point of view. Wait, but why? What happened? I'm so confused. What happened? Wait, I got meta game done and power game done all day. And I just took it. I get banned for holding him up. Wait, are they upset because I called a metagamer a metagamer? Then logging off for the day, having this to say on Twitter. What a roller coaster of a stream. Sorry for the trashy mood. By the end, I got unreasonably mad. A lot of rumors are spreading, but listen, everyone chill. I did a lot of bad things yesterday, and I admit to my faults. Don't spread hate anyone. What I say isn't always true. It was the next day when reviewing the footage, we got the real reason for his ban. After being arrested, X told one of the officers, I hope you die. I hope you fucking die. Thank you, sir. I spent fucking three hours putting a whole scenario around my Joker arc, trying to go kill the cops or whatever. The whole night, I tried to kill his character and I fucking couldn't. And when I got arrested by not him, somebody else, and he ended up being the arresting officer, I said, I hope he dies. And I said, in character, because if I couldn't do it, I hope he dies in the line of duty. Holy shit. The fact that anybody thinks any different of this is absolutely mind boggling. It is mind freezing, dude. And on top of that, to see a clip and to assume OOC, and I have said this a million times, that you should never, to say KYS and wish anybody harm ever. If I couldn't kill him in the game, then I wish that somebody did. That's how desperate my character was. Oh, see, I was mad. I get it. I was mad I couldn't kill him. I was mad that I couldn't gun him. Whatever. The officer did end up getting banned for these actions as well. I had to metagame. I did NVL. Yeah, I had to do that. Look at all the views and subs I'm getting. You guys just don't understand streaming. Chill out. I metaed. Ah! Yeah, but only and then, and then and then he gets permanently banned. Look, look, look. Then he gets permanently banned for it. It was about damn fucking time it happened, man. Holy dude. And X's final take on the situation being this. This is not a hit at anybody, anybody. But I've realized that when there's a lot of child hopping going on, uh, if you throw the ball back. By doing OOC shit, which is out of character stuff, and you get mauled, you not only uh, reward the, the hoppers, you encourage your own people to become hoppers in retaliation, and you actually create a big fucking, a uh, big hopping environment, and it's complete dog shit. So I think people have to be careful with that. X's fourth ban stems from a tragic misunderstanding while him oh and his friend goodness. were in a getaway vehicle. Got the Rammy two seconds into a chase. Oh shit, I was. Oh, yeah, and then you shoot. That was fun, I enjoyed it. What was this there? Did you see that? No pixel rules are clear that you must stay in character at all times, regardless of any technical issues. And if something were to happen while in the middle of a high speed car chase after a heist, you can see where things start to get complicated. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Wait, did you get keys? Do you want me to drive for you? Because you don't seem to be doing okay. Yeah, yeah, did you get keys? Yeah, I got keys. You ready? Uh, I'm, I'm still, am I driving? Uh, yeah, you're no. driving. Yeah, we're flying and shit. Just uh, get out, I'll put you back in. After their car started glitching, they decided that X driving might make things a bit better. You're getting shot, dude. Though, unfortunately, while making the swap, the cops caught up to them, leading to an altercation where X was trying to explain the problem. Yo, listen, he's scuffed out. He's, he's scuffed out. Can you give us a minute? While staying in character. Can you give us a minute, please? He is scuffed. Give us a minute. 
but from the cops' point of view, it seemed to be a prime opportunity to catch up and make the arrest. Uh, I'm gonna go closer. He's yelling, he's scuffed out, can you give us a minute? Fuck that, he always say that. Fuck the 9, 10, 6, 12 bucks, 1, 15, what? 1, Whoa! What? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you, are you kidding, are you fucking kidding me? But with X realizing the cops weren't gonna let it slide, he made a break for it. I mean, they're chill. They literally almost killed me. And they're shooting again. I mean, this is just kind of stupid, to be honest. Because they would have never even been in that position if he wasn't scuffed. I tried to communicate that. Like, you don't understand that? Doesn't matter what we did. He's bugged. They know it. They would never be able to see us or even be in position where they could shoot if it wasn't for the scuff. They know it. They know it. Abusing of that is bullshit. How would you not understand that? The main problem is that X being arrested never should have happened, saying they never would have caught him if he wasn't bugging. But since the police already had him in custody, they can't exactly just let him go free, even though they know it's not fair to X. Yeah, let me get this straight. What exactly happened from start to finish? Well, what happened is that uh, right about the second curve on the highway, cars started flying. Let's say like, like it started like hovering like in fucking Back to the Future. And the guy kept saying, am I still driving? And then the car started scuffing out, and then for the next fucking five, six hundred meters, I uh, kept saying, am I driving? Are you here? And then by when we when went to the fucking the last part where you guys shot me, he hasn't been responding for a whole 30 seconds. So we were out, like, out, out, like a kilometer away from you guys. But it was like, it was like he wasn't there. And then he wasn't. So they try and cut him a deal by reducing his charges, but not completely letting him go. So you're looking at criminal possession of firearm class two, unlawful imprisonment, tampering with a vehicle, reckless evading grand theft auto. That comes out to 78 months, 156 months parole, $5,850 fine and three points on your license. Wait, really? Yes, sir. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to pretend like you guys, like none of you said any of this. And um, we're gonna start, we're gonna try again, okay? Ready? I'm gonna go over here and we'll try again. Okay. Say that one more time. Take two. Yeah, take two. But the now, 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 this time I want you to say this, but without being a fucking moron. Just try this time without being a complete fucking okay. idiot. Um, try it again. We're understand which you which is why you're not getting the gun charge you know sir that that gun charge is like 200 months and 20 i don't give a fuck it. i don't care it's also black you. or white i want all of it or none of it it's not how it works think about it think about uh, it with your brain dead iq think about it it's either everything or nothing i won't get a deal because then that means that i understand what you, what you did and i agree with it and i don't agree so i'll take it out of the city hey, give me everything or nothing you make the choice no, it doesn't. What? In the search warrant first. You would have never caught me if that didn't happen. We're going you acknowledge, you acknowledge I would have not been caught if it didn't happen. We're doing it first. Come on, let's go. And what, uh, what garage is Ban your body, sir? Ban me. If you, if, you, if you want uh, an, an actual uh, reasoning behind this, is that um, people understand how fucked this is, and they're trying to give me a, a deal out of this when there's no deal. It's, um, it's, it's, it's black or white, and it's what I really believe in. And I believe that they're doing this very maliciously, and it's very obvious, and uh, I won't stand for this. I think this is a good example of what the server is going to be for me and other people if this goes on that route, and um, I won't sit there for an hour and a half and two hours uh, doing this bullshit and then, and then people saying, oh my god, the chat hoppers are this. No, because people were willingly making a mistake and people willingly uh, ignored OOC. Uh, nobody acted uh, well in this scenario and uh, I believe 100% people were making mistakes on purpose just because it fucks me over and um, I won't stand for it. I'm sorry, I all it for I should have never done this, but I, I, I believe in what I believe in and it is what it is.
So if this gets me banned and never get to log in ever again, so be it. That's uh, that's the that, that's the price. Um, like I'm not gonna fucking bend over like a little bitch ass. There were rumors floating around of Discord screenshots that detailed a final and permanent ban for Jean Paul. Though not just banning him, but having his character Jean Paul completely erased, leaving him with no chance of return. But as of just recently. XQC has announced that he now owns 25% of NoPixel. Coil owned 100% of NoPixel, and then me and Buddha came in, and then Coil now owns 50%, I own 25, and Buddha owns 25. But wait, a bunch of people are gonna get really, really worried, because yeah, I was a really like explosive part of it, I got banned a bunch of times. My involvement has nothing to do with any sort of Admin decisions, bans, unbans, rules, anything at all that is admin or power related. I have, I have no power in any of those capacities. That's already, already laid out. I want to make sure people understand it. There, there is zero possibility of me influencing like bans, behavioral. I'm all hands off.